Since the full self-driving beta has released, there has been an insane amount of progress in a very short amount of time. With the progress I've seen since release, the question no longer is if these cars will ever be fully self-driving, but when. That doesn't mean Autopilot is a perfect driver though, and right now, admittedly, it's a ways from being 100% fully autonomous. It makes odd robotic mistakes that a human would not make, and I hope to go a bit more into Autopilot's decision making with you in this video. First, huge thank you and shout out to my 30, yes, 30, Patreons. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. If my voice sounds a bit better in this video, that's because of the brand new microphone you guys got me. So thank all of you so much, seriously. I also wanted to apologize for not uploading recently. The laptop that I used to edit all of my footage imploded and I uh, ordered a different one, which arrived with a hardware issue. I finally have a more beefy laptop to edit with, so hopefully no more odd audio or rendering glitches like previously. Also, if you haven't checked out my wife and I's new channel, where we post beautiful 4K background videos, I encourage you to check it out and subscribe if you're into that kind of thing. It gives us an excuse to get out of the house during these odd times, and watching videos like that in the background is way better for your mental health than watching the news. The link to that channel is in the video description, and a huge thank you to all of you who have already subscribed. Let's go ahead and get straight into it and go through some difficult nav routes to try to get autopilot to work as hard as possible. I believe all of these clips were captured in Concord. Uh, Concord is a pretty difficult place to drive for a few reasons, um, and it had pretty good variety of interesting things happening in these clips. So it looks like old ladies crossing the street are programmed into the neural network. So excellent job, autopilot engineers. You can see uh, autopilot slightly moving to the right, even though it has to do a left turn up here to give her a lot of room. This uh, was extremely nice. Felt a bit slow and shaky coming out of this left-hand turn. You can also see it has to make a right up here, but there's a huge puddle. Um, it actually does complete the turn, but does not like that water there. Pretty nice job through that series of turns. Uh, there was a few quick ones in succession, but I think it handled it fairly well. Um, also, as you can see, this is a right-hand turn on a red light, but there is no turn on red. So there is that red arrow there, um, but autopilot does stay put. It doesn't try to make the right turn, so super nice to see. Light's green, autopilot's ready to go, and unfortunately gets trapped into this lane right here where it can't turn out of it. I do have to take over right here. As you might be able to see on the planned navigation path, it does actually display the correct navigation path a few times um, to get all the way over into that left-hand lane, um, but never is actually able to complete the maneuver. It's possible that the solid white line was the cause of that. Here's another situation. We have to make a right-hand turn up here, um, which is okay to do at a red light, but there is another car already at the intersection. So let's see how Autopilot handles this. Surprisingly, Autopilot wedges itself into the gap, goes up to the stopping line, properly stops, and it's able to make it through. This is actually pretty cool to see. I haven't uh, seen Autopilot do something like this before. Now let's talk about some of those robotic mistakes like I was mentioning earlier. Obviously we are stopped on the side of the road and we need to make it around this truck to go anywhere. Um, you can see the, the planned path um, is correct. It wants to go around this truck, um, but Autopilot seems to be stuck in some loop here 
where it's just kind of shaking the steering wheel and w keeps turning it to the right, um, which is rather confusing. I did let this go on. I kind of wanted to see if it would ever correct itself, um, and it did end up correcting itself, but I just thought this was really interesting behavior. Now I'm going to show you some stop sign behavior. I do realize that the people who program this car are from California, and we definitely do California rolls through stop signs. Nobody ever really stops, and if you stop, you become a nuisance to the people around you, honestly. But I feel like the California stopping behavior uh, in this version of the beta is a little too liberal. You can see we get down to about four miles an hour here, and it's happy just to continue through this uh, through this stop sign. I think at the next one, I think it's even like five miles an hour on this one that it's able to get down to and then just continues going. So um, I, I don't know if a cop in California would pull me over for this, although he definitely could. I usually go a little bit slower, I'd say like three miles an hour. And I know that seems like nitpicking, um, but if you're gonna do a California roll, I'd say try to err on the side of caution. We are approaching a red light here where we have to turn right at. Um, this is another no right hand turn on red. Um, so it's just the sign that's posted this time. We have no red uh, arrow. So um, looks like Autopilot is actually starting to read those signs and know that it shouldn't turn right at this light. Um, it does have quite a few gaps that it's able to go, but it never creeps forward for visibility or anything like that. It just waits for the light to turn green. Now, the next situation you're going to see is much more difficult than it appears in the video. Um, this is a blind, unprotected left turn. So if you just stop at the stop line, you are, there's no way you can see to the left or right what's going on in front of you. Um, so Autopilot has to creep forward way up in order to see, and I think it does a pretty great job through here. I know autopilot does appear way overly cautious right now, but trust me, when you're there, um, you can't see anything. So creeping very slowly like this is pretty nice. I'm going to go ahead and let this entire clip play out here. Um, it showcases something very interesting, which is the human condition. I think when FSD really does get pushed out, it's going to be very passive and it's driving. Um, which you're going to see right here, but sometimes humans don't appreciate that. So I, I think Autopilot's actually staying stopped right now because of this pedestrian that's walking out into the crosswalk, which I appreciate a lot. But obviously the guy behind me doesn't. You can see this guy on the left also uh, goes when he's not supposed to as well. So. Despite the cars around you and their behavior autopilot, I think you're doing a pretty fantastic job. I honestly do think that public acceptance of fully self-driving cars is quite a big hurdle um, that we're going to have to go over. Like I explained in my uh, Human Inside Tesla's FSD beta video, um, I do think it has to act a little human, and we see that sometimes with like the California rolls and with the creeping and stuff like that. Um, but it's interesting because, you know, Autopilot wouldn't have many of these problems if it was all autonomous cars on the road. But when you mix in humans, you get a lot of unpredictability, and it has to deal with all that. So, yeah. Here we are, stopped at another right-hand turn on red. Autopilot does not go. Um, I think it's because these people making U-turns, which I would say is a good call. It does have a couple of gaps, like right now, where, well, I guess not. You know, it's it's kind of hard to judge these kind of things. Um, so it's, it's I'm going to go ahead and let this video play out as well. So you can see it does make a little bit of a mistake at the very end and tries to go when it probably shouldn't have. But I think it's doing a pretty good job through stuff like this. And uh, especially with right-of-ways, I think it gets better with every update.
you can see it visualized that car yellow as an oncoming vehicle, but as soon as it started turning, it uh, highlighted into a different color and ended up uh, stopping and waiting for it to go through the intersection. So overall, pretty good, I would say. So just a few bonus clips here. I don't think these are in Concord anymore. Um, I noticed a broken down car in the road and I couldn't pass up the opportunity to put autopilot through a test. doesn't look like it's able to identify this as a disabled vehicle uh, and just sits behind it waiting until it goes through the intersection. Now we have a bit of an odd four-way stop where we have to make a really hard left through here. Um, you can also see the horse detection working pretty well there. I would have loved to see if it gave it the right of way through the stop sign, but unfortunately we didn't see it. A little slow and robotic, but handled it well. Alright, not gonna lie, this next clip made me pretty nervous. We have cars parked on the right hand side of a road and then a truck coming from the other. Let's see what happens. Not bad, actually. I think as a human, I would have realized that I needed to slow down beforehand uh, to not put myself in the situation to begin with, but Autopilot does handle it pretty gracefully. You can see it biases right to give a little room to the tow truck and then to the left for the parked cars. I thought I'd put this last clip in here ASMR style where I'm not doing any voiceover and you can just kind of watch the car drive itself. It does make a few mistakes getting me to the freeway on the way home but I'm just going to let this play out for you.
how do you think the FSD beta is progressing in its updates? I'm interested to hear in the comments. As always, thanks for watching. Bye.